It's Tomatic Mix. Formal program. So, good morning. Thank you for honoring our invitation once again. As you come in, please note breakfast is served in the foyer. Karibu.
Good morning once again, just reminding you breakfast is served. We are approaching eight o'clock. At that time, I'll be introducing you to the fabulous sounds of Gogo Simo. Karibu, thank you for coming.
in chains, you're in chains too. I wear uniforms, you wear uniforms too. I'm a prisoner, you're a prisoner too, Mr. Jailer. Yeah, you don't care about no pen to do. I will die, you self go die too. I never want 
wanna see you sad girl Don't be a bad girl But if you wanna leave Take good care Hope you find a lot of nice things out there Just remember there's a lot about it Baby, 
Once again, reminding you that breakfast is served. Our program will be formally beginning in about 10 minutes, so you do have 10 minutes to finish your breakfast um, and assume the position. This event is being conducted in strict accordance with Ministry of Health guidelines, which does mean that the seat that you find yourself in becomes yours for the duration of this event. Please do bear that in mind. I'm demonstrating at the moment the most compliant position for this event, which is to have your mask in place when you're not eating or when you're not talking and are alone, as I am now. That will win you friends. It will allow you to influence people. So 10 minutes, and we start. Go, go, Simo. Matembezi sokoni Nali 
Go, go, see more. 
if over the course of the last 30 minutes you haven't found yourself tapping your foot, beginning to sway to the music, you and I need to have a conversation about being in the moment. We have five minutes left. I'm just giving you a five minute countdown to our digital audience, to those in the room. Thank you for honoring our invitation. We will start precisely in five minutes. I believe we do have the required attendance here. So when I next appear on this stage, we will be starting this journey. So for the last time in the first part of this program, it is my pleasure to reintroduce to you again for one last number, Gogo Simo.
We are now ready to begin. We are now ready to begin. Before we do that, we will have a safety message. We will have a safety message. I apologize in advance for the slight drop in mood, but it's very important. Emergency evacuation procedure. We are on the second floor of a 10 story building and three basement parkings. Emergency evacuation procedure. If you are the first to detect the fire, activate the alarm by breaking the nearest fire manual call point. If there is a fire in the building, there will be a siren. Trained fire marshals will make an announcement. Please follow their instructions carefully. We have fire extinguishers located on the eastern, western, and central area of the second floor. 
there are three emergency exits. All doors are emergency exits. The emergency exits are to the east, west, and center of the corridor. Fire assembly points. The eastern and western escape staircase leads you to the back of the house on ground floor. Central staircase leads you to the lobby, then out through the main gate to the left side of the hotel. In order for us to help you get to safety, do not panic. Do not run. Use the staircase. Do not use the elevators. Do not go beyond the ground floor. Thank you from the security team at Villa Rosa Kempinski. A very important message. Good morning. I cannot tell you how much pressure I have been under to remove my mask. Those controlling the program keep pointing at me and telling me, remove your mask so everybody can hear you. I hasten to remind them that the last time in recent memory that somebody was told to remove their mask, they went on to say a number of things and cause a little bit of commotion. I do not intend to do that. My name is King Ori. I work with Sandvik Bank, and it is a pleasure to welcome you all here today. All protocols observed, we want to invite you into a story. A story we think will resonate with each and every one of you here in the room, following us digitally, as is the case in this era. A story that will resonate with you because we each have a story. Each of us, I think, can think back to the journey that we have been on with its hopes, with the purpose for which that journey was begun, with the challenges that have been overcome, with the goals and the dreams that you still yet have to accomplish. There is something fundamentally very human about being on a journey. It could be from your first tentative steps as a child. You may not remember them, but those were part of your journey. It could be as you got a little bit older and you figured out how you could tie your own laces. A small, but a fairly important achievement on that journey. As you grow up, perhaps it was riding a bicycle on your own power, not that of somebody pushing you along. You move on still and you begin to aspire to even bigger things. But everything matters in that journey because it maps your progress. It tells people that you are moving forward and this is what you hope to give the world. It could be taking your musical gifts and talents and starting a band and calling it Gogosimo. It could be setting up your own PR and events company, making a mark in the industry, calling it True Black. It could be going into the education sector, starting a school, but not just being comfortable with communicating knowledge, but looking to instill values. You could call it Rusinga School. Each of us has a story. And over the next one and a half hours, I want you to think about your own story even as you listen to ours. Stanbic Bank, as part of the Standard Bank Group, with our over 150-year history across our different markets and over 100 years in this market, has a story to tell. And the title of that story this morning is It Can Be. It is therefore my pleasure and honor to welcome our chief executive, Mr. Charles Budiwa, to tell you a little bit more about that story. Karibu.
Good morning. Um, it's, it's good to see everybody, and uh, these days uh, events are fine in between, so it's always a pleasure um, when you actually meet people and, and talk to them. Um, it's also good for, gives us an opportunity for some of us to wear suits. Um, I think with, uh, with all the working from home and all the other things that we're doing, um, some of our suits, I mean, you can even see I can't button my, my suit now. <laughs> Uh, a couple of things happened during the period, so we, we are all having to adapt to the new environment. It's a pleasure to have you all today and to say thank you very much for taking this time today to just be with us. Today, as Kingore has said, we celebrate the transition or the dawn of a new era in our journey as an organization. We, as Stanley, want to say welcome all and to say thank you for taking the time. We want to recognize the presence of our board chair, chair, chairman, uh, Mr. Mbathi, who has joined us today and said thank you, and other directors have joined us. I also want to recognize the presence of our customers who have taken the time to join us today and say thank you very much for being here with us today. We want to recognize the presence of our executive team and our staff from the bank, and our partners who work with us as we develop this brand. And I want to say thank you for joining us today. And then, of course, I want to recognize the presence of the media, and thank you very much for joining us today. We also have our special guest today, whom we'll talk about just now, and want to say welcome to them, and so also recognize their presence um, in our midst today. We look at Stanbeck history, which is over 100 years, and we're founded on the basis of contributing to the development of Kenya. And as we've journeyed over 100 years, we have a number of milestones that have gone through. And today marks the development of another milestone. We are in a period of huge, of going to a global crisis, but it's also a period where we've learned a number of lessons. And chief among those lessons that we've learned is the importance of our human life the importance of relationships, the importance of empathy, the importance of being together, but also above all, the importance of caring for each other and ensuring that we're each other's brother's keeper. And in this context, even as an organization, we've also learned the importance of just being there with our communities, with our customers, and all our stakeholders, because together we actually can be stronger, and we can build Kenya together as a community and as partners as we start to journey together. And as we start to look at, say, what is the future of our organization and how can we position ourselves as an organization looking into this future, we realize that it's important to start thinking about dreams and aspirations and the things that we have been doing. And as most of you remember, our bank was anchored around moving forward where we looked at the promise to the company, the promise to our stakeholders, to our customers, and community at large as a bank that moved you forward. But as we've started to look into the future and start thinking about how are we going to move forward, what do we need to do, we've realized that we also are there to fulfill dreams. And therefore today, we are marking the shift of our promise to you, our customers, and our stakeholders from moving forward to what you call it can be. And you might say, what is it about it can be? And what does it mean? For us, it can be means a number of things. The first thing is that it means we are purpose-driven as an organization. We are shifting from being just transactional-based to relationship-based. And it's appropriate to be talking about that at this point in time because it's an important milestone as we all start to deal with the COVID pandemic that's facing us, the challenges that we'll have to do. It's about relationships, it's about empathy, it's about safety. And it can be, starts to give that sense of hope and aspiration. Because if you are feeling troubled or in any point, you can look at the future and say, yes, it can be better. Yes, it can give me hope. Yes, it can make me feel good. It gives you a sense of purpose and a sense of wanting to look into the future. So we are shifting to say our promise to our stakeholders is it can be. 
The second piece about it can be what it means for is also about finding solutions. It can be possible. When you are meeting that trouble and you're going through these challenges, you actually can look forward and say, it can be possible. And we found during this period, as we engaged with our customers and spoke to them and worked with them, that actually it can be possible. And by working together, sitting down together, looking at the options, we are beginning to find increasingly we actually can find solutions. And therefore, our promise is that it can be possible. And we're looking at this is about finding solutions and working together. The third thing is about dreams. It can happen. I mean, people always say that your reality starts from dreams. Because once you have a dream, you can move it by activating actions that make it a possibility. And a possibility transitions into reality. So when you look at your life and think about, this is what I aspire to do, you can work it towards making it possible. And when it becomes a possibility, it becomes a reality. And we are saying as Stanbeck, it can be also speaks to fulfilling dreams. It's about dreams and making dreams happen, because it can be. If we just move dreams into possibilities and ultimately into realities, and it can be. I mean, as young people, and we started to date, one of the things that we used to be told is, if you look at a young lady, start dreaming and say, she can be my wife. And then you start saying, well, you give her, say, good morning, how are you? She answers back. It moves from a dream into what? A possibility. Then when you have that first date, the possibility now starts to become a reality. As they say, the guy who looks at the girl next door and does not invite her out might become the waiter at a wedding. So we have to start thinking about how do we make the dreams happen, and it can be and it's about making dreams. The third thing is about looking into the future. It can be looks into the future. What is the future looking like? It's about vision, it's about aspiration. But for us, more importantly, it's also about how we look at it can be from a point of view of digital transformation. How do we organize ourselves as an organization to provide solutions that are digitally based, that are future looking, and we'll be making a number of announcements in due course about how we look into the future as an organization to make it can be a reality. And that's really what our promise is about and what it can be about. Now, what is our commitment to our stakeholders? Our commitment to our stakeholders, number one, we will continue to support our clients. But more importantly, we are going to focus quite a lot on our SME clients and our small businesses as we start to see their growth because it can be. We want our small businesses to look into the future and to see it can be. And to this end, we'll be organizing ourselves to drive this agenda and to support them. Through the foundation, we've already started that work. You saw us last year training and running boot camps for our SMEs because it can be. The second thing that we want to look at is we'll start to focus on specific sectors like agriculture, like manufacturing, health, so that we can actually start to see housing so that it can be for those sectors, that we can make this country a great place and that it can be. So there'll be very clear focus and support to specific sectors that drive this economy so that it can be. And that's our commitment to you. What is our other commitment? Is our commitment to youth. Because we believe that the youth of this country holds the future. And it can be. And we can make the youth the bedrock upon which we build the country. And we want to support the young people so their dreams can be fulfilled. And a lot of the work that we're going to do in the foundation will be to support the young people, their dreams and their aspirations, give them the tools, the skills that they require to fulfill their dreams. Because it can be. We're looking again in supporting our dadas. We launched Dada last year and we've done great work around it, we're gonna take that step even further. So we will make it possible, and it will be, and it can be for our dadas. So that's the work that we will be doing. But to, to make this dream a reality, we have also partnered with a renowned hero in our country, 
Because we need to give examples to young people, to everybody, to say it can be. And in this regard, we teamed up with one special dada, who is our special sister, somebody who rose from humble beginnings to become a world champion, to become a world champion in marathons. And it is my pleasure and honor to introduce Bridget Kosgay, who will be our big champion and driver for It Can Be. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you Bridget Koskei. Strength of a woman. Thank you. So I want to introduce Bridget Kosgei. Bridget will be our brand ambassador for It Can Be. Her story is remarkable. A woman of courage, of determination, who has shown what it can be to make a dream possible. And it is a pleasure for her to partner with Stan Big as we journey on this new road, It Can Be. Because if we look at Bridget, what she's accomplished and what she's succeeded in to become a world marathon runner, not just a local marathon runner. We're talking about the world. This is an onerous and great pleasure for us to partner with Bridget. I say, I bring you bank it can be. Thank you very much. Okay. I'll ask guests to take a seat briefly before we proceed. Please do have a seat, Bridget. Please do have a seat, Chairman. The reason being, even as we celebrate everything that we're going to hear about, some stories defy description by words. And I'm trying my best to use words, but for the moment, eyes up to the screen. Start. She won the Honolulu Marathon, beating the course record by over five minutes. even race, you must pass a fear in order to buy others in the future, the young generation. Bridget Koskai is the 2019 champion. Paul, that record for Paula Radcliffe has been untouchable. It has been deemed the record of records in athletics, in track and field, in road racing. No one has come close. Amazing human performance. Yes. People doing what at one stage you thought was completely impossible. Bridget Kosgai of Kenya who shattered Paula Ratcliffe's 16 year old record running a minute and 21 seconds faster than she did. Today, Bridget Kosgei shattered the marathon record. Bridget Kosgei of Kenya. And it's amazing for me. I have never believed uh, that time. But uh, I have seen it's possible for a lady to run. She is the world record holder 
breaking into a smile, breaking into a sprint. And what a way to successfully defend her London Marathon title. So ladies and gentlemen, we've done it once already. We're going to do it again, and this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to remind you that my guest is a two-time Chicago Marathon winner. She's a two-time London Marathon winner. You heard it there. She broke a record that was set when she was a tender age of nine years old. And she didn't just break it, she shattered it by one minute and 24 seconds, coming in at two minutes and 14 seconds. By my calculations, I work in investments, she's faster than 3.5 billion other women on this planet. Her name is Bridget Koske. She is a legend, she is a mother, she is an icon, she will be and always is a national treasure. Shall we stand, she run, and welcome Bridget Koske. She's Have a seat. We're going to check. Salimia Watu. Hani Mashabiki. Water. And I'm the first. I just want to be as safe as I can. This is a professional athlete. This is an amateur MC. So I need to give her her space. Bridget Karibu Sana. I don't know if you can just turn with me, Bridget, and look at that image. You carrying Kenya, how does that make you feel? You're the, to make you Do not stand unless you want to. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I hope everyone is fine. Um, 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 first of all, I want to to say thanks for Stan Big Bank, and uh, I want to say thank for, thanks for Ken, Ken Bisky, Villa Rosa for uh, giving us a hostility room whereby we can hold this meeting. Um, and I will say uh, we will continue to be together, and um, everything will be fine today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Bridget. Mm -hmm. I just have a few questions. And like I said, Bridget, I'm speaking like a fan. Mm -hmm. And you're not just speaking to the people in this room. You're speaking to a whole audience that are following us digitally. And the interesting thing about the season that we are in with COVID is people will hear you today. They will hear you 16 years from now. You may even be speaking to generations that have not yet even been born. So I want us to go a little bit back. I know you're used to running forward and very fast, mm -hmm. but I want us to go a bit back. Turudi kule el geomara kwet. Capsite. You told me it's capsite. Meshuka sasa. Capsite. When did you think to yourself, I can do this? I can actually run and become a world champion. When did that thought come to you? Do you remember? Um, uh, the time that uh, I know that uh, I want to do, uh, I want to be a, a good person. I want to be an Olympic. I want to be a champion. Uh, it's the time uh, when I when I was watching um, uh, runners uh, during the competition. I just look at television and uh, see most of the runners running 
And I say, one day, one time, I want to be uh, like this and this. I want to be, I want to run like this to represent my country. So I just uh, giving a moral to myself so that uh, one day, one time, I will be like that. I will be like that until uh, this moment. It's that's where I am be now. Perfect, perfect, mm -hmm. perfect. You were telling me when we were talking, uh, Bridge, that by your estimations, Ulianzo Mechelewa, Imambe Akukimbia. And it gave me so much hope. <laughs> because I thought to myself, Atamini Mechelewa. <laughs> but there is still hope. But how did you go from starting late, as, as you put it, to overcoming practical challenges, injuries? Um, how, where did you find that belief that told you, I can actually come back from injury, it doesn't matter what time I've started, I can do it? <coughs> uh, uh, it's just, um, wakati ni, ilikuwa sijamulia ku, kutrain, lakini ikafika kiwango, nikasema sasa nataka ni, ni fanya nini, ni TABD, ni niwe kama mtu fulani. Sasa, eh, that's why I started uh, late training, because uh, even me, I did not know uh, how to train, I didn't know how to do what. Even to start to training, I just use rubber shoes. I never use uh, normal shoes. It's just, uh, uh, as the time goes, I, I, my, my mind started to open up that uh, I want to do this one, I want to do this. So to, to make my country, uh, to make my country proud of me. So uh, one day, I decide myself to say, uh, I want to, to, to work hard in order to promote my country. Uh, even if there is a challenge of, uh, if, even if there is challenge of injuries, uh, some of the little impact, uh, I can work hard uh, so that I can, I can achieve my dreams, what I am thinking of. Perfect, perfect. I'm beginning to understand your story. And like we said earlier, I think the point of it can be is that every one of us has a story. And I tell you, Bridget, you are inspiring more people than you know, even as you share your story. Now, when you started running, one of your early times was actually 2 minutes and 47 seconds. So it's not like you found instant success. So tell us a little bit about the training regimen, how you decided, OK, this is where I am. That's where the record is, and it's been there for 16 years. How do you go from 2.47 to 2.14? To Ambie. Um, for me, uh, I tell you that the... Nilikuwa sijajua kukimbia ni nini, na nilikuwa sijajua marathon ni nini. Nilingisho tu marathon sababu my coach encouraged me that the... In a marathon, you must be strong, you must hit well, so that you can perform well. So according to me, I was given a first marathon, which is uh, Porto. And then I, I tell my coach that uh, I, I cannot run that marathon because I never gone to marathon. I never gone to field. So he encouraged me that uh, you just go try your best. As, uh, as the time goes, I went to that marathon. And then on the way going, I just remember what coach tell me that uh, you must hit good, you must uh, you are, you must be have any energetic in your body so that you can run. If not, uh, eat a lot of things you cannot uh, run. That's what uh, give me a, mo a, a moral that uh, I must hit so that to be strong. So on the way going, I started I started tweeting slowly as the coach tell me that you need to kula pole pole and you quite strong. Mi nikaenda nikikula nikaenda nikikula kufika 35 km tumbo imejaa kumba wakuli sana. <laughs> <laughs> Sasa mimi niko nakumbuka coach aliniambia marathon lazima uku ukule. Sasa naenda kufika 35 si songi tena tumbo imejaa maji nimekula banana on the way during starting up to karibu ni Marisa inabaki 7 km. Nikasema acha nisimama nikasimama kidogo. Eh karibu 1 minute nikasema acha niende tu lakini tumbo iko full si songi. Ikakuwa tu msungu wangu akaniambia you are almost to finish. Nika joke tu na hawa wasungu. Sasa ilikuwa hakuna competitor kama wa Kenya wako kwa ilikuwa just wasungu na maybe uh, mwa, mwa, wa Kenya wawili tu lakini they were not strong. Sasa ikabidi nijikamue ni, ni tu mpaka nimalise. 
nikamaliza nikasema he kumbe marathon inakuanga hivi kumbe sitakula tena <laughs> alafu sasa the te, te, te next the next marathon i went to milan marathon that's that's uh, that's up that moment nimejua kumbe hawakuli sana hawakuli sana sasa nikajua vile wanaanza kukimbia pole pole nikakuja nikakimbia 227 E, nikasema sasa 227 nimetoka 247 na kuja 227 sasa from 227 nikaenda nikakimbia mzuri nikajua hakuna kukula e, si lazima ukule sana A, apart from that e, nikasema nataka ni, nitaka nifanye kitu fulani it hours jana wanakimbiaje ndio wakimbie 220s hata mimi nikasema let me e, continue to do more training so that i can reduce my time I went to I went to Honolulu I be, I become uh, no I went to Chicago I ran 220 no I went to Lisbon which is Portugal I ran 224 and then again nikasema hapana sitaki 224 tena bado niko 220s nataka tu, nataka 220 flat sasa sitaki 220 something haya nika nikakimbia tena nikapewa Chicago nikakimbia 220 bado nikajiona kama yani sijafanya kitu nikasema let me do my 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 best bado ni improve uh, why why am lady like others and they run 220s that time is uh, i had about the baba uh, uh, america i time hao walishakimbia hapo mapema nasikia wanakimbia 220 sasa mimi nikajiweka nika moral nikasema i want to train hard in order to run 220 like other other ladies After that I walk hard and then I go to I, I return back to Chicago. I say today I will make sure that I can reduce that one to be 218. Sasa so, nika reduce nikakimbia 218 on Chicago. And kasema sasa e 218 sasa eh I want to reduce a little bit there or I can I can I can remain there. Nikajikasa nikasema sasa eh nataka tu reduce kidogo tu at least eh nitakuwa somewhere nikaenda nika London nikakimbia nika 218 the same haya nikaenda nikarudi Chicago nikasema eh, leo nimejitahidi kiasi sasa itabidi ni reduce sababu naona niko na nguvu na nime train more kuliko wakati nilienda la, eh, last year Chicago na London nikasema nataka tu ni, ni charibu kama naweza ku break eh, time ya Paula Radcliffe that's why nika nikaenda Chicago nikakimbia eh, 21404 and then ikakuwa juicy sasa wakati covid ilikuwa ukasema sasa hakuna kulusa of tuka train tu eh, kidogo kidogo kiazi kiazi tu tuki train personally sababu kambi ilikuwa imefungwa ndio that's why nikaenda try my best and mpaka eh, mali niko sasa eh hey, yeah. you did <laughs> umetueleza mengi mhm kitu mimi nimeshika mm-hmm shida yangu ni kukula sana <laughs> nikipunguza tu shida ya kukula sana i mm. think i have yeah. hope mm-hmm. <laughs> now bridget yes. tukienda kumaliza mm. kuna hii shida ya ugonjwa wa covid mm-hmm. na ime kama itumetukumba kama dunia si shida ya watu wa Kenya tu peke yao mm-hmm. na pia imeingia kwa upande wa athletics tumesikia mwaka uliopita Um, Olympics ilihairishwa sasa Japan wanajikakamu ili wa, waweze ku stage those Olympics mwaka huu how has it affected you na mpango zako kama mwanariadha um, for me i want to say um, covid affected uh, all world because of uh, you have seen now everything is zero in the for example Kenya kila kitu hakuna kitu inaendelea kila kitu yani uh, we just we are just there only because of uh, god only sometimes we want to remember god <laughs> sometimes yeah um, uh, we must continue only to train as uh, as the time come because uh, you cannot stay and say uh, there is a covid i will not train because uh, it will become difficult for you to come and start and maybe maybe in, in, uh, maybe in two months we'll be say that the uh, um, olympic is there and and yet you are not well prepared so we must be ready anytime so that any any race can be there 
will, you will be ready at any time. Perfect. Yeah. Ingetaka sasa tuongea kuhusu masomo. Uliniambia njana you're very passionate uh -huh. about education. So are we at Standard Bank na najua kuna vitu fulani tutapanga tufanye tu pamoja. But from your perspective, what's the importance of your education? Does it matter when you are as gifted and talented as you are? Um yeah, for me, um I dropped out of school uh, because uh, I, my family was poor at that time. Um, and I want to urge my, my, the little generation that we must, first of all, we must be educated. And uh, I, I hope uh, as we were uh, together with Stan Big, I hope uh, uh, just to, uh, we will continue to promote our woman so that we can lift the education of the younger generation. So that, uh, you know, it's uh, very good to, to to be to be more educated than to run because uh, maybe uh, someone can say I want to be a runner but uh, his mind is not to be a runner just to to, yeah, to to keep her fitness only it did it, it, she didn't put her mind that I want to run just to say I want to be a runner but I uh, don't know the meaning of runner so I want to urge uh, the the little the young generation that uh, it's good important to for for us to to be educated first, and then uh, after that you will see uh, if you want to to run or you want to do other business. Uh, first of all, it's just uh, education first, because kama siyo elimo ata si atunge enda ngambo ukiambi wapi ni unambi enda ngambo na uji wapi ni wapi ata kama siyo kusoma ungeju ata ungesoma apa ni wapi apa ni wapi ata mi mo kati nienda ngambo mara ya kwanza ni liko mjinga ata nienda tu enda lakini siju ata wapi ni wapi baka ata ndege ya kwanza kani wacha siju wapi ni wapi ni kenda ni kili ni kambi ni me pote ata siju ko anga English na zako sema the flight is gone wana ni ambi wapi is gone Tasa ata mimi nimekuja ku learn pole 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 nilikuwa sijui hata eh nini kusoma mzuri yani nilikuwa nilikuwa siko sharp kwa education nikasema sasa kama mimi siko sharp kwa education na wasasi ya wajiwezi si mimi niwache ipote sasa ninafanya nini na sina other option that's why ndio ikani ikan encourage eh, lazima tufunze watoto wetu wadogo wapate at least wapate education sasa hivi kufika ngambo unajua wapi ni wapi unajua wapi ni wapi yeah unajua Bridget kwanza huko mjinga ndio mm -hmm. nani alikuambia hivyo <laughs> ni vile tu huko amezoea hiyo mambo hata mm -hmm. mimi nishaachwa na ndege na mimi si mjinga mm -hmm. so the confidence hiyo kujiamini mm -hmm. is amazing it is inspiring na umeongea kuhusu vijana tukienda sasa kumaliza mm -hmm. uliniambia uko na mapacha mm -hmm. na mapacha huwa wawili wewe ni you're a mother of twins I'm a brother of twins. Mm -hmm. This was meant to happen. <laughs> and to turn it to TV na to onge. Mm -hmm. How are they? How has it been? What are your plans? Watakimbia pia. Wavunje hiyo record. Um um by the way, I'm the mother of uh, twins. Um me I just want to uh, to encourage them that uh, don't uh, don't mind about to run first of all uh, want to educate them so that uh, at the end of your education if he want if uh, he want or she want to, to 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 be a runner like me you can run so long as you get uh, or already education first it's just a decision for uh, but I, me i don't ask uh, my my i don't ask my my children to to run because uh, some of the runners is, is a lot of temptation sometimes you can be injured you can do what and you started to to stress you better go to class first so uh, meaning uh, kama mimi watoto wangu wa wananiambia kijana ananiambia mama hataki hiyo tabu ya kukimbia kila asubuhi hakuna kupumua hata hakuna <laughs> siku nye hakuna siku unapumsika una kila saa unaenda tu asubuhi unaenda tu asubuhi jioni unaenda asubuhi unaenda sasa sitai kimbia kama kama wewe tena Alam msichana anasema hapana tukimbie kama mama ili tupate pesa mi pesa mi mingi <laughs> eh, that's why eh, watoto wangu wana wanaji wanasema wanasema hivi wakipinga na pingana mwingine akisema nataka nisome mwingine anasema nataka nikimbie mpaka kama mama ndio nipate nipate pesa nione wazungu in future nienda hata ngambo nisome huko sitaki kusomea huko yeah 
perfect perfect mhm swali la mwisho mhm na pengine hapo baadaye utaongea mhm vile ulivyotaka i want you to confirm tuambie kama ni ukweli after you broke that 16 year old record by 1 minute and by over 1 minute i think 1 minute and 25 seconds 21404 kaulizwa kuna maoni yapi is it true you said i can run faster mhm ni kweli mhm tell us about that how low do you think you can go um for me uh, nimeona kama 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 anasema i can run yani ni kitu nyenye una will kumbe ninge ningesindi kuendelea ku train kumbe naesafanya kitu fulani so hiyo ni inani huwa inanitia mutisha that um, uh, if i still continue to work hard i can do that thing because uh, i want to to work hard more than that so that i can break another another record more than uh, 214 maybe i can reduce by one minutes or two minutes that's my aim now that uh, i can do this one I, i will make sure that i can do this one yeah perfect perfect so what you akai wakijua you can run faster <laughs> while there too mhm sasa nataka kuangalia hiyo camera mm-hmm. katikati mhm ufikirie ujumbe uko nao kuwapatia wale vijana ambao watatufuata yule ako kapsai yule ako northeastern yule ako pwani ungewaambia aje kuhusu kufuata zile ndoto wako nazo ili zitimizwe Um, kama mimi Bridget Koske um, I want to to tell the younger generation those who are in schools those who are in in training camps um, I want to hash them that uh, if you have talent of something if you have talent of running you just run if you have talent of uh, of uh, going to class you just read If you have talent for of, of uh, football you just do your own thing according to your career. You know everybody has his own career so it depends which career you have been given you must uh, work hard in order to achieve good according to what you have been given as a talent. So um, again I want to to tell the young generation um, nothing can be easy if if not even if you don't work hard nothing can come easy you must work hard you must persevere in everything if even if it's 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 hard but it will become easy after after doing uh, you are you are good and again i want to say um, um uh, we, we must uh, remember god first so that uh, everything will be possible and then tena eh, kama sasa wanariadha naomba wa, wa eh, we don't lose off because of this covid eh, hata wanafunzi naomba watie bidi kwa sababu hakuna kitu ya bure bila kujitahidi uh, wanariadha wenzangu eh, nasema tu, hata si tusidi kujitahidi hata ingawa covid iko lakini tusidi tu ku kuchi prepare so that uh, any race come there in front we will be ready anytime so as we build pole 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 to prepare uh, for the next next uh, game which will be available there yeah. dada wetu shuja mrs rigid kosge unaweza kuketi like i said it is an amazing story words do not explain so once again eyes up let's hear more let's see more from this wonderful talent bridget nilisa how kusema kabla tujaendelea when i'm not on the mic I nasaidia watu na investments. So ukianza kukimbia tena after Tokyo utashinda na jua utalipwa ninajua 
tuongee. Hizo pesa hata hata mimi nivunje rekodi kadha za kadha, ndio? Eyes up to the screen.
gentlemen, one more time for Kilele. <laughs> Kilele are doing what I am doing. They are exploring their passions and their gifts and their talents. You will find them at our branches and in our offices ready to serve you from about 11 o'clock. Ladies and gentlemen, did I mention to you that you would leave and stay? Maybe it was meant to be a surprise, but you're feeling it. it. Sort of starts at your toes, it begins to come up. You might confuse it with breakfast, making a comeback. You might confuse it with other things. It's quite possible it might get lost in mid-morning traffic. That happens to a lot of people. The point of this morning, the point of sharing our story with you was to say it can be in our Zekana that with the journey that we have been on, with the commitments that have been shared by our chief executive, you can hold us accountable. You can ask us to deliver. For the dreams that you have, they were always valid, even before they were immortalized in Hollywood on that fateful night. They were always valid. So as you leave, we can only say a very, very big thank you to those of you who have honored our invitation and joined us here this morning, to those who are following a very important audience that can no longer be ignored, following us digitally. We are starting the journey, and we look forward to sharing the highlights, working with you in this year, 2021, that follows a year that tested us a once-in-a-lifetime threat to lives and livelihoods. But we say it can be in our Zekana. I want to appreciate the fabulous sounds of Gogo Simo. It can be. Thank you so much. I want to thank all our service providers making this event possible, coming together in the way they have. I want to appreciate Kilele. It can be. I want to thank all my colleagues who in the bank are going on this journey with us, saying it can be. But most of all, I want to thank our partners and our customers, because it can only be with you. As we leave, there will be an opportunity. We are setting up a photo booth outside. No guesses for guessing who you'll be trying to get a photo with. Bridget, Rafikiwangu Bridget, now that's what I'll be calling her, will be available for a few photos. There will be sanitizer present um, just to ensure we keep each other safe. Um, so you will be guided at that point. I think we will start um, with our chair and our chief executive, and Bridget will be going out there. Members of the Fourth Estate, we appreciated you earlier. You were such an important part of helping us to tell our stories. To our right, I think you have our instructions for where we will have a session that follows. And just to make sure that I have covered all bases. We'll have the media. We will have the photos happening. Gogosimo will continue. And like I said, do not leave without that photo that says, on the 4th of February in 2021, you were here, Bridget was here, when we all said in our various vocations, it can be in our Zekana. Have a lovely day. Thank you very much. One last time, Kama Ujachoka Sana, Bridget, our chair, Charles, our chief executive, if you would, on stage. We just want to have a final photo. 
The photo does not capture sound, so you do not have to be silent at your tables. Find out the stories of your neighbor. What are they up to? Remember to social distance. Rosi yangu yote na malisika Mie ni talala na nani We unaenda Mie paka ni mawazo Mie paka ni kuwaza waza We unaenda Unaenda Present, if you would come a bit closer, EXCO members, please come a bit closer. EXCO members, please.
Plus three plus three. Or calculate twenty-four divided by three. Simple arithmetic. That is if you go ahead. Check a conversate. Show it be much fresh, but lag bad da. With the ghetto sharp, uka kraka. Everything sharp, bra bra bra. DJ bring it back, it dark bad da. Ena kwana, ena kwana, ena kejia, ena kejia. Everything in the marama. Kai we take cash for squander. Ena kwana, ena kwana, ena kejia, ena kejia. Everything in the marama. I will take cash for squander. No matter what Chick, they like me, that I see a key and real pipe like Mandy Para. Wake up in the morning, say thank you, Papa. La Copenda, Asante, Sana. The boyfriend, I can't the balance. See the motor, we back for garage. We come to the party, Hada. With the clubhouse, go catch the fire, yeah. And I wanna, and I wanna, and I get you. Everything in the Marama. Kai with the cash for squander. And I wanna. And I get you. Every time you're mad, I'm mad. Can you wait the cash for squander? Yeah. Moka pa moka pa, because I'm mad. Moka pa moka pa, because I'm a diamond. Moka pa moka pa, because I'm mad. Moka pa moka pa. See, they say I'm moving with the shoulder pad, 'cause I'm getting more bags, but that is not my bag. I'm sorry, she like to nara. Nobody told me that flexing is not allowed. Emi gagba soke, emi de feel at the top. Shagba today, ni de di de ko dance. Ni ni today, link up with fans. Come my apoki, bring out the cash. Everything in the 